next speaker mr gaurav namdar gaurav namdar our next speaker gaurav is a materials and polymer technologist he is an uh, alumnus of iit mumbai in materials engineering he brings over 18 years of techno commercial experience in developing various nano materials and their applications in coating composition uh, composites plastic and energy technologies he is associated with graphene graphene based technologies for a long time he is working with um, osi uh, for 7 years and taking care of south asia and middle east market over to you sir we need cordless thank you very much hello very good afternoon to all and thank you very much for this opportunity today i would be discussing few interesting applications of graphene nanotubes in conduct this one in some coating applications and if you come to the the agenda part briefly i would be discussing the material itself so that we have a better understanding of the application and then moving to the application which is always a interesting part first what is graphene nanotubes so if you so we all know graphite graphite is a layered material an individual layer is called graphene if you take a layer individual layer and you rolled up into a tube it is called graphene nanotubes interesting is some parameters graphene nanotubes usually have a diameter distribution between 1.2 to 2 nanometers length higher than 5 microns and this ratio of length to diameter gives an interesting parameter which is called aspect ratio which we would come back later and you can see this entire material is active the entire material is single atomic layer and entire material is going to be in contact with the host matrix so actually what happens when you put graphene nanotubes in any polymer system it makes a three dimensional network and that network is conductive why it is conductive nanotubes are ballistic conductors extremely high conductivity so if you go on a specific weight basis it is more conductive than copper the entire structure is carbon covalent bonds so it is extremely strong and coming to the low addition level this happens because of the very high aspect ratio of this material if i just give you a reference aspect ratio is very important for the conductive properties of percolation network like a very common conductive material we know is carbon conductive carbon conductive carbon typically have a percolation sorry aspect ratio around 100 and you need addition level in the range of 10 to 20% here we are talking about a material which has a aspect ratio higher than 5000 that means we can make a system conductive with a 100 to 500 ppm addition and interesting few interesting points about this material this material and the family of material has a potential to impact 50% of the materials which we presently use multiple applications few applications we already deal with like in energy one is a leading application for us is the lithium ion batteries and there is a good chance that whatever mobile device you are having right now is already having our material in it 
then we have a polymer composites rubber so lot of applications on the sustainability and the environmental side these kind of materials have a great potential for reducing greenhouse gas emissions and the number is huge as a responsible company we have kept the regulatory side covered and that is very important for a nano material that we we are very clear about the health and safety aspect of this material so it is only one of the few materials which is reach certified as well as its upa epa consented so in any quantity if you are using this material in any application there is no restriction on the export you can target the global markets and actually in effect most of our customers are a good exporter of the applications based on this material coming to the application side for the application the interesting point is we are talking about the electrical conductivity here and in the electrical conductivity if you look at the options available or a legacy solutions on the lower spectrum of cost you have a conductive carbon and at the higher spectrum of cost you have conductive mica or coated tio2 in that particular spectrum we have a very i would say very interesting and the sweet positioning it gives you a possibility of colors preservation of mechanical properties at a reasonable cost the fourth point the easy to process i would elaborate a little bit usually if you are dealing with the conductive additives they are difficult to process materials you need a lot of changes in your manufacturing technology you need a lot of know how that's why there are limited players in our material also graphene nanotubes are not easy to process material but what we have done is we have done some innovation over here that we are not supplying a graphene nanotubes in a pure form rather than what we are supplying is concentrate which are very easy to use can go along with your standard processing equipments and in that it would be i would say it would be an injustice to call them a super uh, concentrate they are actually super concentrate they have a nanotube loading ranging from 10% to 25% which is pretty high considering the standard of this industry coming to some application or business cases one interesting business case is esd flooring it's a very growing market in india and why so there are certain group of industry or a services which essentially require a esd flooring it could be the chemical or pharmaceutical manufacturing which are dealing with flammable materials powders then you have a semiconductor manufacturing electronic manufacturing assembling battery manufacturing assembling ev all require esd flooring then you have a lot of new age technologies like data warehousing servers aircraft hangars utilities they require this kind of a flooring and interestingly at least the last two groups are growing very fast in india so probably all floor, flooring manufacturers realize that there is a growing segment and there are solutions available to esd flooring is usually done in a lower side of cost is done by carbon fiber higher side it is conductive mica kind of a solutions and interestingly there are issues related to quality and reliability and now especially in the electronic industry the specifications are coming which are more robust full proof as well as they are more kind of a simulation of real work environment there what we are seeing is the legacy solutions are failing so in that context we give a quite reliable solution time tested so we have a quite a strong positioning for this particular segment so you can see 
a pure coating after five years of use it has been subjected to all wear and tear of the normal traffic there is no change on resistivity you cannot find a system conductive system which can give this sort of a reliability although our additive is black in color based on carbon but interestingly because of the ppm level addition there is a very low impact on the color and these are the standards mentioned here 6134045 and 41 these are the most recent standards which simulates the work environment and we can claim to be only few handful additives which can comply to these standards these are two i would say examples one is in epoxy and another interesting example is uh, self leveling pu concrete so for both systems and many derivatives of this we can provide solution next is uh, the pipe and tank linings which require electrical conductivity uh, usually on the lower side of the cost the solution is based on carbon and graphite and the expensive solutions are based on conductive mica advantage of our solution here is you can get a light colored conductive pipe and tank lining which are easier to for visual inspection and also with this you can create a resin rich system very high solid loading of polymer which would in turn would give you a higher chemical and corrosion resistance so we are seeing a good traction here it complies to all relevant uh, standards for this particular application sorry this is again an example case where epoxy tank lining has been done using our material the next is esd powder coating this is also a coming up area in india that and again that it is driven by the electronic industry the furnitures fixtures enclosures storage system the powder coating there requires a anti static or esd phenomena and the here we can provide a solution which can give you a full range conductivity along with very light colors and the coating properties are much better much better compared to the traditional solutions if you see on the mechanical properties side the reason being mechanical properties are important to our system is okay with most of the properties and is as good as your non conductive system usually conductive powder coating systems are inferior in mechanical properties compared to a non conductive system this is one classical example that server cabinets and all which are used for the electronic switch boxes and all needs to be esd powder coated and last interesting application which is a huge market in india that is the automotive conductive primer for the plastic parts in in india solution is based on conductive carbon so usually the conductive primers we see is black in color and very dark gray in color we provide a solution where you can make extremely light colored conductive primer and even you can make a colored conductive primer what are the advantages if you are working with light colors or very bright colors you can use this conductive primer and you can reduce the base coat thickness so that's the cost advantage also when you reduce the base coat thickness your surface appearance comes fantastic and also this gives you a option for creating very bright and different colors which doesn't have a opacity if you are using a black or a dark conductive primer you have to adjust a lot of things and compromise things on base coat to get that sort of a hiding here you don't need to do that
So it's an interesting application. We are working with few OEMs. Also, there's another market coming up which is linked to the agriculture equipment painting where the parts are SMC composite. So if you see here, you can create a prob system which can have a L value nearly 70-75. Transfer efficiency is as good as metal. And this way you can reduce the base coat thickness. Interestingly, we can give you a solution for the solvent bond as well as water bond conductive primers. And also, even in the solvent bond category, you can create a low VOC conductive primers using this technology. And also you can envision a 100% solid conductive primer which would be much more environmental friendly compared to an existing technology. The reason being conductive primer is probably the, the highest VOC containing item in the automotive painting line at present. Few words about our company. Oxiel is a specialized materials company having a footprint across the globe. We are present in more than 50 countries uh, with the 450 plus employees. And we have a multiple man manufacturing locations, multiple R&D locations, as well as our offices and partners. So here in India, our exclusive partner is Vimal Intertrade. So for any questions, any relevant discussions, you guys can reach out to me or Vimal team. Vimal team is also here. So any relevant op uh, discussion, we can always engage in. So that's it from my side. Any questions? Any questions? Now I would request uh, Mr. Prashant Vithaldas to present a memento as a token of appreciation to Mr. Gaurav Namdar. Thank you, Mr. Prashant. Mr. Nam. Uh, Mr. Nikesh Doshi from Purit Chemicals. Mr. Doshi, are you here? No? Next. Uh, Mr. Akshay Pupawala, Pupawala Chemicals. No? Let's see the third one and the last one. Uh, Mr. Anand Rolwar, Jacinth. No. One more. Where is Mr. Mahadevan, sir? One more. Three over. Done? No, one more. Uh, Mr. Sujit Sharma, Aditya Rasayan. No, this was the last. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Sweet.